Marriage, love and marriage Go together like a horse and carriage This I tell you, brother You can't have one without the other So ladies <laughs> Last but not least, couple number three. What's your name? Alice. Alice and? David. Alice and David. All right, and Alice, where are you guys from? Sarasota, Florida. Oh, very nice, all right. And how long you been married? 59 and a half years. <laughs> he didn't say anything yet. <laughs> She's like, what did he say? One word to describe the last 59 and a half years of your life. Short. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, these are our three couples. All right. Just friends there, Tiger. She hasn't been gone that long. All right. You've been married for 59 and a half years. Seems that way, yeah. Seems that long. That's a long time. Yes. How old were you when you got married? Um, <laughs> 26, I think. Oh, you're looking good there, Tiger. All right. Healthy living. Kind of. <laughs> we got a couple down there. Married what? Seven days? 13. Sorry, I didn't want to shorten it. They've been married 13 days. If you could give them some advice how to make it from 13 days up to 59 and a half years of wedded bliss, what kind of advice would you give them down there? It's never wedded bliss. It's just hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much just stick around and uh, don't die. David. <laughs> How long you guys date for before you got married? One year. One year? One, two, nine. <laughs> so ba 60 and a half years, almost 61 years ago, basically. 61 years ago, before there was electricity. <laughs> Where'd you guys go on your first date? How much you spend? We went to a play in Chicago. A play? Nice. Kids, they, they have shows where people act and they're not movies. <laughs> Yeah, real play. Nice. Do you remember? Yeah, it was the first. It was uh, by George Bernard Shaw. Do you remember what the name of the play was? It's, uh, something about Don Giovanni in Hell. Uh, Don Quixote? No. G Don Giovanni in Hell. <laughs> They'll think of it. They'll remember it. Nice. Took her to a play. Was, uh, there were four famous actors in the play, and then it was a big special. Wow. How much that cost you? I don't know. 25 bucks, maybe. That's like $400 now. <laughs> All right, the play in 25 bucks. Apparently Tom and Barry would have a very quiet island. And who from her side of the family would you least like to be stuck on that island with? Uncle Max. <laughs> Uncle Max, same thing, why? We hardly knew him. <laughs> uh, my wife was, uh, her, her mother died when she was 14 and there was we just she and her sister and her father who were great people, both of them. It's the only one left I can think of. <laughs> Everyone else was awesome and I didn't know him, so we're picking Max. David, you've been married 59 and a half years. I know, but let's admit it. You can pretty much say anything. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> let's be honest. So if you're making one thing bigger, one thing smaller, what would it be? She could be a little taller. A little taller, stretch her out a little bit. All right, and? Waistline. Oh, you guys are all in for it now. <laughs> yeah, they're all sleeping outside together. Question. All right, what color? Uh, skin color. Yeah. Skin, see-through or like, no, like the, the nude, the beige -y. Nudie beige. Yeah, 40D, who cares? <laughs> you look like a lingerie man. You've seen a bra or two. Two or three. No, I'm going to help you with this one. Because, yeah, I know, again, 59 and a half years, long time. And, and things do, yeah, thank you, change. <laughs> Ladies in the front row know. It's like, 60 years ago, it's like. <laughs> Gravity sucks. <laughs> so right now, today, what bra size and color are you bringing home? <laughs> Both that sucks. <laughs> Nice. 
I'm gonna give you a hint. A bra comes with a letter and a number. Anywhere from A to Z, and anywhere from one to 100. C. C, that is a letter. And a number? 36. 36 C, all right, and? <laughs> you can put your hands down. Everyone who's deaf knows what you're talking about. I can't see colors. <laughs> oh, you're colorblind. Oh, but. Any color, it doesn't matter. No, but what do you think you would buy? Technicolor. Technicolor. <laughs> you still living in the 70s? What's going on here? What do you mean, like a striped one? Tech you don't know what Technicolor is? No, I have no clue. I forgot. <laughs> white. White. So 36C white. Virgin white. Virgin white. David, what's she wearing? What's Alice wearing right now? Your wife. <laughs> Actually, if you know what Tom's wife's wearing, you might help him out a little bit. <laughs> He's got no clue. Uh, she's wearing sandals. Sandals? What color? Oh, black. Black sandals. Uh, she's wearing black and white pants. Black and white pants. A black uh, slip over. Black slip over. What else can she wear? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you just described a zebra. Yeah, yeah, so she's got one. All right. Give all the boys a big round of applause right now. Ooh. Get it in now. It'll be the last one. <laughs> all right. Basically 61 years ago. Yeah. Where'd you guys go on your first date? How much you spent? We went to hear Don Juan in Hell. <laughs> and I have no idea, probably $25. Yeah. He said he took you to a play and you spent 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. Nice work. All right. All right, and who from your side of the family would David least like to be stuck on an island with? My brother-in-law. What's his name? Oh, your, yeah, your brother-in-law, that's his brother. <laughs> oh, no, your side of the family. It can't be an in-law? It could be, but it's not. <laughs> My brother-in-law. No. <laughs> he said? Uncle Max. Uncle Max. Everyone else was nice enough. He's like, that's the only one I could think of. Oh, all right. If he's going to make one thing you, about you bigger and one thing smaller, what would it be? Uh, smaller, my stomach. <laughs> yeah. yeah, close. Yeah, he said, in here, the old midsection. And bigger? Uh, bigger. My brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said he would make you a little taller, stretch you out. And then you could come on the roller coaster with him. <laughs> Question. <laughs> All right, and what brought, he, you know what, David, he's a lingerie man. A lingerie man. He knew, he even had a technical way of measuring. <laughs> what bra size of color do you think he's bringing home for you? Uh, 38C. What color? White. Ooh, he said? Uh, 36C, Technicolor, then went for white, yes. <laughs> there, he, he just wants to squish him in there a little bit and pop him out, pow! Three quarters of a point. All right. <laughs> Last one, I said, the boys were doing so well, I said, bonus question. I said, guys, what's your wife wearing right now? So let's start down here at this end. What did David say Alice was wearing right now? Uh, we got uh, black sandals. Uh, black and white pants, and a black slipover. Yeah, give him the points. <laughs> and thank you for flashing the audience. <laughs> All right, what did Barry say? How's it going? Great. You having fun? Uh, wouldn't you be? Absolutely. Now, you've been married for 59 and a half years. Long time. We got a couple down there, 13 days. You remember 13 days? That was a very long time ago. If you could give her some advice how to make it from 13 days up to 59 and a half years, what kind of advice would you give her? Oh, boy. <laughs> honesty. Honesty, honesty, honesty. Really? 
just be honest, share, and no messing around. Love, hate, throw it all out there and you get through it. Nice. That's some good advice. You know what? That is almost exactly what David said. <laughs> 61 years ago, who was his last girlfriend before you? June. June. <laughs> 61 years. June. <laughs> that little hussy. Did you know her? No. No. You heard about her? Uh, yes. <laughs> good things? No. <laughs> some good, some good. I'm good. Not as good as you. You got him. You locked him down. June. It's a terrible month. <laughs> Question number two. Ladies, what do you do to put your husband in a romantic mood? So what do you do if you want to have a little romance? Married 13 days. Breathing's probably working real good right now. <laughs> but what do you do if you want to have a bit of a romantic evening? Here, tell me first and I'll tell you if you can say it. Oh, you can't say that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that works. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to keep this PG-13. <laughs> she gives him a kiss. Not on the face. <laughs> yeah, it would work for me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you, what do you do to put Barry in a romantic mood? Um. <laughs> this is a hard question. It is for some people. Uh, just kiss him to death. Just a little make out session. A little kissing. If you walk up and. Yeah, not on the face. <laughs> if you walk up and start pecking him, then he knows, okay, it's, it's time for, it's, it's go time. It's, it's Saturday. Oh. <laughs> All right. After 61 years, what do you do if you want to put him in a romantic mood? Rub his butt. <laughs> what do you, so you walk up and you give him a little... And if he knows, oh, it's tushy time? Is that what he calls it, tushy time? Really? So a little woot woot, and then it's like... <laughs> a little more subtle than some people, but... All right, same thing, you got a parrot, here's everything, one thing, here's the most, that's what he says, what's your parrot say? It's tushy time. <laughs> pow pow! The best part is, you still have an entire another day, and people are gonna be like, there it is. That's David. You high five, and then oh. <laughs> Last one, ladies. We stole this one from the old TV show from way back in the day. Ladies, where's the strangest place that you and your husband have ever made whoopee? If there's any kids out there, whoopee means like when you go to the movies. So, strangest place you two ever went to the movies. Well, you can give us a couple, and then if he gets it right, we'll give you the points. In the hammock in his friend's backyard. Oh, that's very nimble of you. <laughs> Alice, you've been married for 59 and a half years. There must be a few places. Oh, <laughs> giggling like a little schoolgirl. You know what? I wasn't going to do it, but I am now. You've been married for 59 and a half years. That's almost six decades of wedded bliss. I need six of the strangest places, one for every decade you've been married. Do you have any kids? Three. Three, okay, let's start with them. Where were they made? In the right place. In bed. In bed, that's one, five more. 
Well, my father was a house painter. We used to use his car, and his car was full of paint, and it smelled from paint, and every time he passes a Sherwin-Williams, he gets hot. <laughs> so not only, not only would he get lucky, he'd also get high at the same time. Join your dad's paint band. Nice. Four more. <laughs> In the pool. Ooh, nice. That's where your son Bob was made. <laughs> wow. No, nobody was. We were old when we bought the house. So in the pool, in the paint van. Yeah. In in in, in bed. In their normal places, like most people. In bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, the paint van. <laughs> all right. Give all the ladies a big round of applause right now. Sixty one years ago. Who was she? Judy Slavic. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. She didn't give us the last name, and you probably shouldn't have either. He hasn't been thinking about her at all. Question number two. I said, ladies, what do you do to put your husband in a romantic mood? So, what does she do to put you in a romantic mood? Yeah, that's a match. <laughs> what does she do to put you in a romantic mood? She tells me it's Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday? <laughs> she forgot about the Wednesday part. <laughs> oh. um, no, she said she just pats you on the behind. Pum. That's right. <laughs> that's like the light switch going on. Got a parrot, here's everything, one thing he hears the most, that's what he says, what's your parrot say? It's time to go to bed. Oh, she's like, no way. She said? Um, it's tushy time. It's tushy time. <laughs> and last one, I said, ladies, we stole this one from an old TV show from back in the day. I said, ladies, where's the <laughs> David. Alice, she's a little firecracker. <laughs> yeah, I know. I sat down, I said, you've been married for 59 years, there must be a few places. And she was like, oh child, there's been billions. <laughs> I was like, really? And she was like, you know what? We've been married for almost 60 years, almost six decades. She was like, I'm gonna give you six of the strangest places, one for every decade we've been married. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we don't wanna embarrass David, we don't wanna embarrass your kids. She was like, I don't care, I'll tell you where they were made. So, <laughs> she gave us six. So I need six. Six. We'll start, her father was a house painter. Yeah. You like the smell of paint. Irwin Williams does it. Yeah. yeah. You have your house painted every couple months. That was one. Oh my God. I know, I couldn't stop her. She also said the bedroom, we gave her that one. Bedroom, yeah. Bedroom. Uh, Whose bedroom? <laughs> I didn't go that far into it. <laughs> My mother's. <laughs> oh, no, she forgot about that one. Mother's bedroom, nice. All right, I'll give you that. So we need four more. Uh, in the Holy Land? In the Holy Land. Really? You did a little tour. <laughs> There's some, some more praying going on. <laughs> I know. I couldn't stop her. Three kids. Uh, do you remember the pool? Swimming pool? Uh, pool table? <laughs> no, we, we didn't talk about the pool table. And ours is self-leveling. <laughs> yeah, that's no fun. No, she said uh, in the pool one time? Yeah, w only one time? Uh, I, just, I didn't ask for more. Once enough, yeah. And then she said the kitchen table. Yeah, the kitchen table. And then she said in the backyard on the porch one time. You just came in through the back one time. It was in the back sort of area. She said that? Yeah. With, with who? With who? She talked with who? <laughs> no, she didn't say any of that. I made those ones up, but nice work.
Give all our couples a big round of applause. 55 points. Our winning couple of the day on points, taking home the Royal Caribbean prize pack. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. We basically call it more crap to pack. <laughs> and a bottle of our finest champagne. Made in China. <laughs> it helps it. Uh, our winning couple of the day is none other than couple number three. Yes! But you know what? For coming up here and being such great sports, I think they're all winners, so we're going to give them all exactly the same thing.